Welcome. Hopefully everybody can hear me. I have a microphone up here loud enough. Welcome to our live stream, uh, live band class. Let me get my, my earphones plugged in here. Uh, good to see everybody. I'll just deal with one earbud, I think. I uh, want to say hello and welcome. I've been checking out the uh, uh, chat room has been going uh, really well here. We have already have some questions coming in, so I want to welcome everybody. Uh, and just make sure we're all set for for our chat room. And uh, let's, you know, while we're at it, why don't we say hi to Dennis? Dennis, and make sure your connection is going. Uh, how's it going, Dennis? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you very well. How about you? Can awesome. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You're on the you're on the stream. Excellent. So, uh, uh, happy New Year. Same to you, see? Yeah. That's great. What's that? It's got to be better. It's got to be better. <clears throat> it's got to be better. We're looking forward to it. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and I'm, one thing that's going to be better, I'm really excited to try this out. Let's see if this works. Uh, we have uh, a new feature here where we're going to be able to see uh, and highlight comments on the air, which is very exciting. So let's see if this works. We're going we're to jump right in and try that. Uh, we're going to say hello to some people. And let's see if this works. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at our, our chat. Look at this. We're going to start off with Mike Hamilton. Look at that. It's it's on the screen. I'm so excited about this. Um, so uh, our good friend Mike Hamilton, who is with us every week, uh, is uh, checking in already and says, uh, Happy New Year. Oh, New Year, new folks. Tell us who you are, what instrument you play, and maybe get a school shout out. So yeah, definitely uh, wherever you're watching from, especially if you're new, let us know if you're new. Hello to my, my Instagram people. Um, as I said, folks, we are live on Instagram as well. So if you want to uh, make sure you follow me, uh, Dr. Selfridge. What am I on Instagram? Dr. Selfridge Music, I think, <laughs> or just Dr. Selfridge. So um, I'm going to jump right in and start taking some questions. What we do on the, the live stream, folks, is I, um, I'll answer your questions and we'll take requests and we'll, we'll just see how it goes. So why don't we jump right in? And I want to say hi to Sotvik, who is here. And Sotvik says, I love your vids. They help me to play the flute. That's fantastic. Uh, we do get a lot of flute players uh, on, the live, on, the, uh, on the channel. And we get a, a lot of flute players on our live streams, our live band classes. So we could definitely do something uh, on the flute today. Uh, oh, I remember Isla. Isla was here last week. And uh, Isla got a keyboard for Christmas. So that's very exciting. Um, so I hope, hopefully you're practicing on that keyboard and I want to say hello to, we have CC Richton 77, who is watching, uh, from Chester and plays the alto sax. And, uh, they say, I helped them to learn the pink Panther. So thank you for that. Let's go to, do, 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 do. let's catch up a little bit here. Uh, I want to say, uh, Hi to uh, Mike Hamilton and Daisy and Jacqueline and Sunday. And let's get a question going here. Joseph is here and plays the trumpet. Oh, all right. Elite Master is here. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, guys, let's get some questions going. Um, okay, here's one. MC Farmer. If I'm 11... When do I move up to a three clarinet? So uh, I think probably what you're asking is, let me get my clarinet, about the reed, right? So most beginners will start on a, a two or a two and a half, more likely a, a two and a half. Uh, I would say you're 11. It doesn't so much depend on your age. It depends on how much you're practicing, how far you along you've developed. So I play on a three reed, um, and I guess I made the switch in in, in well I, I yeah after I've been playing for maybe a, two years. So I would say if you are getting a solid sound on your instrument and you can you can play uh, with a nice steady tone. Move up to that three, because that's going to help you get a better tone in your upper register. Sometimes when you switch to a new clarinet, it really, um, it can be tough at first because your, your muscles aren't ready for it. 
uh, aren't used to it and it, it feels like it's harder to, to make a sound, but stick with it and it definitely gets better. Okay, so, um, yeah, so guys, let me know if, uh, again, questions and also requests. If you want to, we're going to play some songs today. Uh, we have to play, you guys know this song? That's called Auld Lang Syne. That's the traditional uh, song that you hear on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. So we have that in one of our packets and we can do that today. All right, we're gonna say hi to, yeah, Mike, you are f you're famous now. Your picture was up on the screen. Jackson plays the alto sax and is in middle school. Hi, Jackson. Uh, procrastination delight. Sometimes I feel like I am uh, stuck in procrastination mode. Uh, procrastination delight, or delight plays clarinet, so welcome to you. Uh, okay, let's keep it going. Okay. I want to find these. I appreciate that, uh, you know, Dennis is, is, is doing a great job of highlighting your questions, but whenever possible, I want to get your original question up here on the screen so uh, people can see it. Um... Okay, these are coming in pretty quick. Okay, so Zavolian checked in and said, Happy New Year's, everyone. Wants to remind me to play bass clarinet Molly on the Shore since you're playing contra string bass cues on the tuba. Okay, so Zavolian, which part are you playing? You're, you're, playing, the, um, you're playing the tuba part. So I actually, I, I did my homework on this one and I, I, I have that sheet music, so we will get to that in a minute. I see a request, here it is, Dennis highlighted uh, from Sunday to play We Will Rock You on the alto sax. So why don't we do that? So I love getting requests, everybody. So if you have a request for me to play or something we can play together, uh, We Will Rock You is in our uh, band tunes packet. So if you go to Dr. Selfridge Music and you go to band tunes, Here we go. We'll take a look here. Let me just, all right, let me just go over here for a sec. All right, we're gonna take that off. Okay, great. Okay, so, whoops. There's where we wanna be. Um, so beginner band tunes right here Dr. Selbert's music. And let's go to alto sax. All right, so We Will Rock You is actually a really great beginner band song because you only need four notes. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see, whoops. That's what I want. So we have just four notes and on the sax it's C, B, a, G. So let me go ahead and play that for you. One, two, three, four. And then you see at the end, there is that repeat sign with those two dots. And that means that you're going to go back to the beginning and play it again. Okay? So let's go back over here and let's do some more. Thank you, thank you, those of you, those of you who are, are with us on Instagram. I will try to grab some questions from you guys. Uh, let's see. Mike's question: Can I play the Holly and the Ivy? I tried to learn it using Solfege system, but I failed. Okay, so Mike, the Holly and the Ivy. Uh, so start on low E. I actually, I have this song in my holiday, t my Christmas tunes packet. Okay, so the Holly and the Ivy starts on Do. Do. So whatever scale you decide you want to play it in, you would start the song on the first note of the scale. So you, you said you wanted to play it on E, 
that would mean that it would be in the key of E major for you, which might make it, it's, that's four sharps, that might be a little tricky. Um, because it's do, 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 la, so, mi. Um, to make it a little bit, it depends what key you want to play it in. Uh, it might be a little bit easier if you did it in a little easier key, like if you started on G. G, 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 E, D, B. All right, but then if you look in at our packet, I think I might, it might be in the key of D. Okay, so um, it depends what key you want to play it in. So you want to, if, if I want, let's just do it, let's just say it's going to be D major, okay? D, 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 B, A, F sharp, Do, La, Sol, Mi. So there's the beginning of it for you, okay? Um, Jackson Torres, what songs would I recommend for the alto sax? Um, you know, a, a ver really popular one, a lot of people like... Um, a lot of people like the Pink Panther. I have a I have a uh, a tutorial on that. Um, that's a fun one. Um, you know, it really Jackson. It depends what you're going for uh, and what level you you would consider yourself to be. Whether you're a beginner or intermediate or advanced. Um, you know, a lot of people. Love to hear the the saxophone solo from. Well, I guess a lot of people might be sick of it now, but the uh, the uh, George Michael. Fun stuff like that, and then there's more complicated stuff you can get into, like uh, classical solos and and jazz solos. So there's a something little something for you. Uh, okay, Skyler. Okay, we have a couple of requests coming in. Uh, well, let's answer Skyler questions real quick. Um, getting a solid, steady sound on the flute, on the clarinet. All right, best brand of reeds for clarinet. I like, a lot of people like Van Doren. Van Doren's very good. Uh, Rico, which is now, Rico was popular for a long time. Now I believe they're Diodario. So I'd say those two are very good. Van Doren, Diodario. Okay. Joseph, what is the highest instrument in band? Does anyone know that answer out there? Let's, let's leave that one and see if any of you guys can answer that one out in, uh, out in wherever you're at in internet land. What is the highest instrument in the band? What plays the highest notes? Okay. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Tuba Train Marty, who plays a bunch of instruments. On Instagram, Tuba Train is, is is on our live stream on Instagram. Um, he plays bass or clarinet, bass clarinet, flute, alto sax, tenor sax, barry sax, trumpet. Wow, French horn, trombone, euphonium, and more. That's really that's pretty awesome. Okay, uh, see you again on the clarinet. Let's do that. Um. <laughs> So here's a request from MC Farmer. Okay, so I did a, I did a, um, a tutorial on this, I don't know, a couple years ago. See you again. There's a little bit of see you again. So I hope that was, uh, despite my little mistake there, I hope that was enjoyable for you. Peter wants to know, what is my favorite song on the flute? You know, a lot of times music teachers and musicians, we get these questions, you know, what is our favorite song? What is our favorite uh, uh, instrument? What's our favorite? You name it. So 
I think most people, it, it's really hard to pick one. Um, geez. <laughs> you know? Um, favorite song? Um, I'm a little bit stumped. You know, because there's like so many songs possible. It's hard to pick. Uh, da, da, da. Maybe I'm just thinking of this song. You ever heard that song before? I think it's called Pavan by Faure. I love that tune. I probably not even playing it in the right key. That's a really pretty song. So there you go. That's my favorite song of the moment. Um, and I think some people got the right answer in the chat. Actually, Dennis, um, I don't know if you've been able to tell uh, yeah. the, the, the highest instrument in the band. Right. I think some people have been getting the right answer. Have you noticed anyone? You know, they, you've got uh, piccolo, fruit, flute, um, Where's the other one? Um, yeah, that's that's the right answer. It, it's it's basically yeah. basically the piccolo. Um, so and a lot of flute players will double on the piccolo. So good job to those of you that got that answer correct. Uh, <laughs> I want to say hi to John Hoey, who is here. He's a, a buddy of mine, a very talented uh, young musician. Uh, Steve's Weave. I didn't know that's what we were calling it, but okay. Um, and believe it or not, John, I don't have a Barry Sachs here today, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to follow up with you on another, another day with that request. Um, let's go to, real quick, Skylar Robinson wanted um, We Will Rock You on Clarinet. This is easy. F, E, D, C, D, D. <laughs> Super easy. It's a, it's a really fun song for young people to play. Um, why don't we go ahead? I'm going to show you guys because Jacqueline just checked in. Well, actually, real quick, I'm going to answer Sean's question. Sean, how, uh, Dr. Selfridge, how many times should I oil my valves on trumpet? Uh, I play around 20 minutes every day. First of all, good job that you're playing every day. Um, a lot of times, you know, um, students will, you know, will, will think will not realize the importance of playing every day. I mean, if you practiced an hour twice a week, that's good. But I would say it's better that you practice 20 minutes every day. That's really great. Um, I'd say oil your valves um, at the beginning of every practice session. It doesn't take long. You just, you know, pop them out, a couple of drops, make sure they're working okay. Um, just keep them, keep them moving. Okay, so for Jacqueline, Jacqueline says, I'd love to play Auld Lang Syne on piano. I've never tried it on clarinet and flute. So let's go over here. Um, let's go over here. And I'll bring my Instagram people over here too. Okay, Instagram people, you're going you're gonna to be right there. Um, by the way, I think Instagram cuts off live videos at like 40 minutes or something, so... If you're on Instagram and you want to join us on YouTube, come on over to Dr. Selfridge Music uh, on YouTube. Um, so, check it out. We're going to find Auld Lang Syne. We're going to go to the uh, Dr. Selfridge Music uh, live stream band. Can, oh, i got to move my microphone. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm going to move this microphone over. Okay. So, in, in live stream band... We've got, here we go, holiday tunes. Let's do flute for Jacqueline. And okay, we have Deck the Hall, Jingle Bells. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah, so, you know, you'll see Auld Lang Syne, you know, it's considered a holiday tune because you hear it around the holidays, but really it's mostly associated with um, New Year's. And it is in the key of concert F major, okay? 
So what you want to do, folks, to get your um, to get your uh, key, you want to go to Dr. Selfridge Music slash Holiday Tunes, okay? Dr. Selfridge Music slash Holiday Tunes and find your instrument. So I'm going to go ahead and play this on flute. And if you'd like to, you can play along, okay? Here we go. I'm going to give you a count of one, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Now there is a first ending and a repeat sign. You know, most people will perform this song at least twice. Um, and look, there's a harmony part. You could play, if you're playing with a friend, you could play the B part. Like that, and it sounds really cool. If you have a couple people playing it, you could make a trio, you could make a duo, you could do all of those things. So let's go back over here. And actually, let's check in with Dennis, because um, I know there's there's a, probably a lot of things happening in the chat that I'm not getting to, but um, anything you'd like to highlight for us, Dennis, that I should try to get to? Yeah, there's been a, a couple coming in. Um, Peter uh, Bajak uh, at the con, uh, can you play Havana on the, the uh, flute, please? Okay. Good. Let's do that. And uh, with a lot of songs, I, I say this a lot, guys, but um, let me move my, my Instagram people. Um, I forget, a lot of times I forget what key I played the song in uh, on, on my YouTube channel. Uh, so I think I'm going to do this in... Uh, I think it's probably in... No, 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 no. I think it's in... Uh, I think I did it in C minor. Okay. So that one is 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 a great tune. It's it's in C, it's in a minor key. Uh, the first phrase of it just outlines the minor chord. Da da da, right? Which is the three the, from the top, the fifth, third root of our minor chord, and it goes around the fifth, which it's cool. It goes the five, four, five, flat six. We call that natural minor. Nice little minor key tune. Okay. Let's hit another question or two or three. Hello to my Instagram people here. Um, looking for a CC or C Crichton says uh, Peter and the Wolf on flute is lovely. Yes, I love that piece. Uh, the Firebird Suite. Yes. Um, Da, da, da. So thank you those of you that are joining me on Instagram. Again, we're, we're live on YouTube if you want to join us there. Let's do some more questions here. I'm sorry, guys, if, if, if again, every week, you know, I love having so many people. I love having so many people on the live stream. Um, wow, we're actually pretty, uh, pretty nice crowd today. We're up to 70 people, which is awesome. Um, so, you know, I try to get through as many questions as I can. If I don't get to your question, I really apologize. You know, uh, you can, if I miss your question, feel free to put it in the chat a couple minutes later. It might catch my eye. Um, but, uh, and if I don't get to it at all, uh, come back next week. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Okay, here's a great one. Sobrin Fitwi. How do you make swing between notes on alto sax and also we want to do he's a pirate? Okay. All right, so here's a quick lesson on how to do swing, everybody. So, lesson one on swing is uh, when you play eighth notes. So in, in, in band or classical music, we'd play, uh, say we're going to play two notes on each note of the B, concert B-flat scale. I did like sort of a medium staccato. I didn't really staccato at all. I did a, I tongued it, but I kind of connect them. Ta, 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 ta. Now if we're going to swing, there's a feeling of triplets that we put underneath of everything and it becomes do, da, do, da, do. <laughs> It's like a feeling of triplets because we imagine, but we play. So that's swing, all right? Now, when people talk about the importance of slurring in swing, what you have to remember is that uh, what when you hear a, young, a younger musician or usually a, a more inexperienced band playing swing, what makes it sound less swinging is because they're tonguing everything. Like... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do uh, the one, this one, a lot of people know this one. You know that song? Right? Now, if you play that song, but you tongue everything. In jazz, we want to do a lot more slurring. We, we, act, we, we tongue the notes that we want to bring out. Sometimes we tongue the notes we want to bring out. So in this case, instead of going ta 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 ta, I'm just going to tongue the bottom note of each group of three. Ta ba do ta do ba do ba. So I'm tonguing the low note, and I'm slurring up. So in swing, basically, don't tongue every note. Uh, if you've got a, a series of eighth notes, you want to slur them together and just tongue the ones that you want to that are brought out. Uh, either by an accent or by a change in direction. Okay. Let's keep moving. And thank you, Mike, for, for answering that question in the chat as well. I'm going to go to a, a, an Instagram question. Uh, let's see what this is, person is saying. R Roman, Roman Brahimidi. What's your favorite alto sax song? Well... Um, Hmm. You know what? Let's do this because I was just uh, I was in a Johnny Hodges mood because I've been um, I'm going to move my 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 Instagram over here so I can talk to you and to my main camera here. Um, so Johnny Hodges uh, was the lead alto saxophone player for Duke Ellington, and one of his most famous saxophone solos was this song. Uh, <laughs> called uh, I Got a Band and That Ain't Good. And my favorite thing about, um, let me clear this off here. Uh, so Breen, I'll try to get to He's a Pirate if I have time, okay? Um, but what I love about Johnny Hodges when he plays that song is he would do this big glissando scoop up to the high note. Let me make sure I don't overload the, the microphone here. Oh, thank you for helping me pronounce your name. Rahman Ibrahimi. All right. Thank you. Thank you for... Uh, Phonetically spelling that for me. So he would do, Johnny Hodges would do this big glissando like this. It's crazy. So a lot of people ask me, how, you know, how do you do that, uh, that kind of sound on a saxophone? It's a little bit of my fingers going up like scale, but also you bring your jaw down and you kind of bring the reed down. So... I love that so much. So I was, I've kind of been in a Johnny Hodges mood lately, so I've been doing a lot of that. So there we go. Um, exotic Morgan. I play on trumpet. Notes that are supposed to be tongued, I slur them. Any tips? Okay. You know, basically what you should do 
is just anytime you're having problems playing a song with the right tonguing, this is the same answer of anytime you're having problems with uh, any instrument. Um, it's you, you slow it down and you you just slow it down until you can do it right. So say say I have this thing on trumpet. Let's see. So say say that the the the, the phrase is going ta ti ti slur tongue tongue slur tongue tongue slur tongue tongue slur tongue tongue tongue. So say I'm doing a scale like that. Sorry, I'm not warmed up at all. So say that was tricky for you. What you would do is just slow it down and just make sure. And really be very deliberate about every note. Am I tonguing this or am I slurring this? And slur just means you move your fingers and you don't do anything with your tongue. Ta, 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 ta. So that's my advice on that. I gotta switch over my power because my laptop is gonna get get out of power here. Dennis, let's check in with you. Okay. How's it going? Uh, good. A lot of, I'm getting the from both <laughs> barrels coming in. That's good though. Okay. Uh, Keanu, um, Keanu Wilkerson, can you please play San's theme song? San, I, I don't see know that. S A N S. And, S. and I don't actually don't know what that is. Kiana, if you could um, give me a little bit more information there, I'll see if I can do that for you. Um, so thank you for that. Um, what else is going on here in the. Oh, I've, you know, there's a great question I'm going to take, Dennis. Ashoka yep. uh, is asking, how do you slur on trombone? All right, this is a great question. Do we have any trombone players out there? So I actually have to get up for a second and get my trombone, which is right over here. All right. So the gen so the, the rule is if you have two notes that you have to slur on the trombone, if your slide is going in the same direction as the note. So say you have to go um, F to D. F, D. Now, if that's slurred on the trombone, if you don't tongue at all, you're right. You're exactly right. You're going to get a glissando. You're going to get... Even if you move your slide quickly, you're going to get... So what we have to do is trombone players have to do a legato tongue. Very light tongue with... Uh, very light tongue as if... Think of the syllable do instead of to. So ta, so think ta da, ta da. I mean, it's still a little bit of a tongue, but you, you have to do that or else you get a glissando. Now on the trombone, if you are have something where you're going, say instead of going um, F, D, whoops, say you have to go F, G, fourth position, you can do a, a a partial. The partial will 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 do the. Um, will will you won't get a glissando because it'll be a, a partial. So I didn't tongue at all because I'm going from a, a lower partial to an upper partial. Da, it's a clean break, right? So t talk to your if you have a trombone teacher or a music teacher, they can help you out with that a little bit more. Uh, oh, so Kiana says, all right, actually, I want to get to this other question. Kiana, I'll try to get to, to your request as well. Um, wow, a lot of great requests. All right, Sans from Undertale theme song on saxophone. All right, so guys, as I've told you, if I don't know a piece of music, what I do, like for example, I don't know that song. 
So what I would do is I would go to Google and I'd do Sans theme song. And I just Googled it. Oh, is that just the Undertale song? Is that what it is? Is that all, is that all it is? Oh, all right, I know this one then. Is that what it is, guys? Do 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 do. All right, I can I can do that. What instrument did you want? Uh. Oh, okay. Thank you. You guys helped me out with that. Um. So, sure. Kiana, what instrument? Do, what instrument do you want me to play on there? Do you want me to play it on? Uh, I think you play. Do you play clarinet? So, um, all right, so I'm going to do it in the key that it is that we just listened to. It's in D minor. So, and Keon, if you check in and tell me, if you want me to play it on a different instrument, I will. I'm going to do it on clarinet. All right. So this one starts on, right, yes. All right, here we go. And this that's a minor key song that's in uh in minor just like uh, Havana was in minor. All right, so Oh, on flute? All right. I'll do it real quick on flute. But then we also have uh, Griffin. Griffin is requesting uh, the Oriole song on trumpet. And Griffin, I don't know what song that is. Can you give me a little bit more, a little bit more info there? So since we're doing it on flute now, I'm doing it in D minor, okay? I mean, if you want to learn how to play it, it the, bit, the first phrase is a low D to a high D. And then it goes down to A. A flat. G. F. D, F, G. So. Maybe I should do a tutorial on that one. Uh, okay. Fortnite default dance. <laughs> oh, so Griffin, it's in the Rubang trumpet book. So I'd have to look that one up. I'll see if we have time to do that. Let me look at it real quick. Actually, while I'm looking that up, let's go to. Uh, so right now, I'm 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 gonna look up. Uh, see if I can find this. This song for for Jake. Uh, I'm sorry for for Griffin. Uh, Dennis, while I'm doing this, um, is there something you could maybe a yes. question I can answer? <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, Reese Boudreau, uh, I'm at, I'm new at school and I'm just starting band. I really want to learn how to play the flute. Any tips or tricks, please help me help this. this. This is the only person that I can ask. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So did, what was the name of this, of uh, this, uh, commenter, Dennis? Did you? Uh, Reese Boudreau. Okay, so Reese, and I'll try to find your, your comments so I can highlight it, but uh, in the meantime, um, so tips on, Dennis, I'm sorry, uh, uh, tips on just getting started on the flute? Was that the question? Yeah, I mean, you have, uh, don't you have uh, uh, Tutorial classes on this? I did. Yeah, yeah I, I have, a, so, for, so for Reese, I have a lot of, um, if you look at Dr. Selfridge Music on YouTube, I have a lot of uh, flute tutorials. Just, just type in Dr. Selfridge Flute. And if you type in like maybe Dr. Selfridge Flute Beginner, I take you from how to make the, the, the mouth position, how to get the, the airstream right, and how to play the first few notes. The, the biggest thing on the flute that people have uh, difficulty with is getting the airstream just right across the, the edge of the, the, uh, the hole of the flute. 
those are two, probably the two hardest parts for beginners, which you can do it. You totally can do it. You just need to spend extra time on it, is holding the flute the right way, getting your fingers on the right buttons. We call those the home keys. And then part two is not get, getting your, your band face, we call it, your embouchure, so the air that comes out of your lips is just the right amount. It's not too wide open, like you're blowing out candles. You don't want to play the flute like you're blowing out candles. Play the flute like your lips are together and you just sprung a little leak of air in the center of your lips like this. A little tiny leak like this. So there's two tips for you to get started, but check out my tutorials, okay? Now, over here, for Griffin, we're gonna go over here, um, and I found that song that Griffin was looking for. So let's see how we do it. This is called Oriole, and it's on page 10. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there's got a lot of, are these all named after birds? Falcon, Kinglet, I think that might be a bird. I don't know. Oh no, legend, all right. Meadowlark, here you go. Oriole. Okay, so this is for Griffin. How much time do we have left here, guys? We've got, uh, all right, good, we have about 15 minutes. So feel free to keep your um, requests coming in. I try to get to all of them. Let's get our screen a little brighter here. There we go. All right, so Andante. So Griffin, I've never seen this song before. All right. Oh, this is in three, four. Okay, so one, two, Three. Bum ba da 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 da. All right, here we go. I'm I'm skipping the beginning part because this is the piano introduction. All right, here we go. I'll play to the this fermata. I'm gonna play a little portion of it. All right, here we go. One, two, three. So that's a nice little tune. Uh, Griffin, are you, have you been practicing that one? Uh, that's a really nice little melody. Okay. Hmm. So, okay, let's, let's get this one from Mike. Uh, oh, Sean wants the Kahoot theme on clarinet. I'll try to get to that. Let's go to Mike's, Flight of the Bumblebee or Summertime. All right, Mike, I did see your, your comment earlier. Um, so, summertime, Mike said, why don't we play summertime? Because hopefully by the summertime, we will uh, be able to get a little bit back to normal, which I would hope so. So, all right. It's not feeling very summery here. I just, I'm just looking out my window and I noticed uh, it's, um, it's darker than it usually is. It's kind of overcast and, and I was kind of getting excited this week because the days were getting a little bit longer. Like it wasn't quite dark at uh, at 4 p.m., 5 p.m., but uh, it's a little bit cloudy. All right, anyway, but I'm gonna play Summertime anyway, okay? So this is Summertime. This is in the key of uh, D minor. One, mm, mm. song. If anyone can tell me who composed that song, you get bonus points. Okay. Wow. A lot of requests, requests here for, uh, a lot of requests for meme songs. 
Uh, Sean wanted the Kahoot song. Uh, Kiana wants the meme clarity. I don't know that one. Sophia was asking for Dude Perfect. Wow. Um, would you guys like if I made tutorials for all these? It would take me a little while, but I could, I could try to get to it. Um, how about uh, the Mandalorian theme song? I love that show. Has anybody been watching that show? I've been watching it. Um, let's go over here. I'm going to take my, uh, my Instagram people with me. Hello, Instagram people. And I'm going to look up, as I, as I always do when I'm, when I'm looking up new songs, you simply go to Google and I'm going to put in Mandalorian theme song. So let's check it out. Oh, I got to put in, you got to put in sheet music. So Mandalorian theme song, sheet music. Let me show you what I have here. Okay. So you can try to find a link. Uh, Musicnotes.com. Let's see what happens here. So there's a do 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 do. All right, I'll play this. I'm gonna play. It's it's for piano, but I'm gonna play it on flute. Just the. Uh, it's like just the first part of it, because then it cuts off because you have to you have to buy the sheet music. All right. So that's the piano. The piano goes up, bum bum, right? It happens a couple times. Let's skip down to here. Actually, and then if you, you, that's like the upper part. If I go here, this is like the middle melody here. I'll start right here. One. And then here, the middle part is the melody. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -dum -bum. That might make a cool uh, tutorial. That would be a fun tutorial. I might do that. I might do a tutorial on that. Okay, so let's come back here. Uh, check in with Dennis. I'm gonna look for another uh, comment to bring up on the screen, but Dennis, uh, anything else you wanna send my way? Yeah, just a warning, you're getting a lot of Mandalorian stuff coming in. <laughs> they want the Baby Yoda song. You know, <laughs> I'm a fan too, so I, I love it. Yeah. Uh, uh, here is uh, uh, Mia Ann, 1808. Can you please play Canon in D on the flute? Ooh, I'm getting a lot of flute requests today, which I don't mind that at all. Um, so let me try to find that. I'd like to put your, your, you guys, your comments up on the screen. Oh, here it is. All right, Mia Ann, one of our one of our great great fans who's here a lot. So I appreciate you being here, Mia. Mia Ann, uh, Canon in D. All right. I probably, I could try to play this one from memory or maybe I'll, maybe I'll look it up. I'm going to, I'm going to look it up real quick. Canon in D flute sheet music. Oh, look, free sheet music. Look at this. Can't beat this. Uh, I'm just going to download it. Here we go. All right, so this one starts with the... the, the it's pretty slow if you start off here. It's... Uh, Um, and actually, I want to make a quick note to uh, uh, one of our helpers uh, out there, uh, Teresa, if, if you wouldn't mind, um, if you could do your welcoming our new people, uh, but do them in smaller groups of like th three names or so, because what I can do is I can bring them up on the screen and we'll be able to see them. All right. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, actually, let's see. I want to... Okay, never mind. They're, they're, this is working out pretty well. So folks, I just want to, as I play Canon and D, we want to give a shout out to some of our new people who have been watching today and our helper, uh, uh, Terry, in the chat helps us by putting, uh, put your names up there. So welcome to those new people. Let's do some more Canon and D. I'm going to skip over here. It goes on like that. Let me move my Instagram people over here. Let's do, and then I'll do the, the part, the part that people really know is this part, uh, this part here. When we go, let's start on measure 11. I'm putting slurs in here. I mean, you could tongue it all. And then this part that people really recognize is when it speeds up here and it goes uh So that was a great suggestion. Thank you for that. Let's go back here. Let's welcome some more new people here. Uh, so we want to welcome uh, pe people who have been on the screen there. Peter and Jansen and Ayan and Kim, Anna. Ramon, uh, Marco, I don't know if that's a different, if that's, some of these are not separated by commas. I don't know if they're different people or one long name, but we have Ramon, we have Marco, Gilberto, Varela, Rincon, Lucas, Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, uh, Ashoka Tano, Alexandra Ichim, Amelia Colucci. Hayes plays Roblox. Okay. So folks, we are closing in um, on the last couple of minutes. Well, we have about eight minutes left. Okay. How about... <clears throat> All right. Jurassic. What are those meme from Jurassic? All right. I, I can play uh, the Jurassic Park song, which a lot of people know from the meme. Let me turn off that. I always forget to turn off my little picture. All right. So... The beginning is not part of the meme, I, th I think. The, the, the part that people know is... Uh... So that is, on sax, G, F sharp, G, D, C... That part, G, F sharp, G, D, G, F natural. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, okay, Ramon, there we go. That was for Ramon. So uh, thank you for that request. Uh, a lot of great requests here. Um Let's go to, uh, oh, Sean, the Kahoot theme song on, thank you for reminding me. Uh, this is another one I'm going to have to look up. All right. And those of you that are uh, with us on Instagram, uh, we are, this is my live stream, which is on my YouTube channel. So if you're not, you're not seeing the comments that I'm answering because they're, they're, they're coming up on my, my YouTube live stream. So you can join me live here or on Dr. Selfridge Music or no, uh, Dr. Selfridge Music on YouTube. Okay, so let's go to, what am I looking up? I'm looking up Kahoot theme sheet music. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what I get. I mean, you can look it up. It doesn't have to be clarinet music that you find. You can just look it up and, and um, Kahoot. Oh, look, wait, they have it on Kahoot.com. Wow, that's nice. That's cool. Kahoot actually just provides it for you. Okay. 
Du, 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 du. Find the part that people know. Boy, they kind of put it, they kind of wrote it in awkward sheet music to read. Actually, thank you, Kahoot, but that's kind of hard to read. Uh, let's go. Let's go here. Mm. See if I. Ah, there we go. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to play what's here. Okay, guys? I'll transpose it for clarinet. All right, one. <laughs> kind of hard to play with one instrument. Let's see where it's a melody. Oh, here we go. If you skip down here. recognize that. There we go. Kahoot theme song. Kahoot theme song. All right. So, oh, I forgot to, Sean, I forgot to put you up there on the, uh, let me put Sean up on the, on the, uh, the comments here. Oh, Zavoli and Molly on the shore, bass clarinet. Okay. All right. So I did have my bass clarinet ready here. Now, Zavoli, are you, I, I, I know I asked you before about So I actually had this, I, I, I was ready for you on this, okay? Um, I have all the music for Molly on the Shore. Now the question is, what part are you playing? So Zavolian, if you could put that in the chat, let me let me go ahead and put Zavolian up here on the screen. Because I'm, I'm sorry I didn't get to your question. So this is the, uh, I've actually never played this. Uh, I've never played this one on bass clarinet. Probably the most challenging thing about this is it's, you're doing these uh, these uh, big jumps on the bass clarinet and you have to keep them all staccato and keep it nice and light. Um, so I'm looking to see if uh, Zavolian got back to me. Ah, okay, on the tuba. So let me skip to the tuba part. Now it's a tuba part, so uh, oh, you're playing the contra cues. All right. So let me skip to tuba. It's going to be written for tuba, right? So it's going to be an octave. Oh, my Instagram video just ended. Sorry, guys. Uh, bases. String bass or, ah, okay. Okay, I know we're just about out of time, guys. Um, so I wanna make sure I, I do this for Zivolian. So I, I don't know if, if what I'm doing is gonna be helpful, but let's find Contra Clarinet. The cool thing is you can, um, you can find this music online and find any part. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, if you haven't already, if you could go ahead and uh, if you could go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, that'd be great. And I'm going to keep scrolling. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. If this is making you dizzy, I apologize. I'm just trying to find the uh, all right, tenor sax. All right, I'm going to play the bass clarinet part. Here it is. It's at night rehearsal 19. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. So I've never played this before, so I would want to practice this at a slower tempo. Okay. So I would go. Now 
I know it, when you're when you finally get to the the uh, the final tempo, it's supposed to be like. <laughs> So that would take me some time to practice to get that up to tempo, but um, that's a really fun part of the song. So good luck playing that on tuba. I really like that melody. Uh, Granger is so much fun. Okay. Yeah, all right. I am over time. Uh, thank you for noticing. Uh, I do get... All, my entire staff is going to get paid double, okay? Um, so let's uh, just end it there. I really apologize. I know some people really wanted me to play uh, the Dude Perfect. So, Sophia, if you if you come back, uh, ask me straight off the straight straight from the gate uh, next week, and I will get to that one. I promise uh, next week, okay? Because uh, that would take me time to, to look that up. Um, so thank you to April. Oh, hey, April. Thank you. I'm going to say do some quick shout outs. Uh, Katarina, sorry I did not get to your request, but thank you for being here. Uh, thank you to Colby and Amelia. I'm sorry I didn't get to your question. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> it is time for me to go. Uh, thank you, Katarina. I appreciate that. Peter, I'm sorry I didn't get to your request. Uh, we've, we're, we're over time. So uh, come back next week, okay? Um, we'll bring Dennis in for the closing here. So Dennis, that was quite quite the show, huh? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. A lot of questions, a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, so I really appreciate everyone's, uh, uh, everyone's engagement. Uh, make sure you're... Oh boy, we're up to... We're, we're, I'm, I'm wondering if I should change our show time, Dennis, because we our, our, our viewers always go up. Uh, we're at 70 now. I don't know if I should go back to the 4 o'clock time. I don't know. If you... I don't know. Yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but um, I just want to do a couple more shout outs, folks. Um, since there's so many people here, I appreciate that. Uh, Ashoka Tano said, um, my teacher recommended this channel at the beginning of quarantine. I watched a few videos, decided to really start watching. Awesome. Thank you, Ashoka, for being here. And say thank you to your band director for recommending my channel. I appreciate it. Uh, Katarina wants the Among Us... Oh, see you, Sophia. Uh, Katarina wants the Among Us song. We could do that. Uh, Peter says, thank you so much. This helped me. I appreciate that. Thank you, Daisy. Daisy is always here with us. Appreciate it. <laughs> Teresa's ready to go overtime. <laughs> Uh, but we, we are going to wrap it up. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I always forget to... I don't know if... JS, I don't know if you're talking about my, my camera here. I always forget to turn that off. Isla, can I give you some pointers on keyboard next time? Yes, I can do that. Uh, thank you, Ramon. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. Emilia said, my teacher said to watch you too. All right, guys, so thank you so much. Um, just when, when, we, uh, when we close the show, you'll see on my screen, um, you'll see uh, all the ways you can follow me. Uh, I'll show you right now. Yeah, I'll right now. You can follow me on uh, you know, YouTube and Instagram and you know, Twitter, uh, all that stuff. Um, and you can email me at Dr. Selfridge, uh, at drselfridgemusic at gmail.com. And we're here every Sunday. So tell your friends, okay? Tell your fellow band members uh, or your friends who play instruments to, to come on and join us. Take as many requests as I can. So, all right. Dennis, this is the real goodbye. So thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Steve. It was right. a lot of fun. All right. Uh, and to Joe and Terry in the chat, thank you so much. And uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. All right. Take care. <laughs>